Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be setting up for new comebacks. It is comeback season. It is April, May season for all these comebacks. I'm super excited, but I'm also <laughs> like, oh my gosh, it's happening again. But um, more excited than I am nervous about anything. So um, yeah, here we are. So comebacks I'm going to be setting up for are the Seraphim's Unforgiven. Comeback, Kepler's um, new comeback, Love Struck, Ive's new comeback, I think it's called Ive Ive, and then 17th new comeback, FML. Oh my god, so excited for that. But we have all of our crazy amount of <laughs> fillers ready, and they're all ready to go. I'm just gonna put them in the binders and figure out where I want to like sort things and everything. So. We're gonna start with La Seraphim because that'll be the smallest collection, I think. So we're gonna start with La Seraphim. Okay, so I know this is my Stacy binder, but I did some rearranging with my girl group binders and I put Stacy and La Seraphim in this binder. So I think I'm gonna like remove things down here and also add La Seraphim down here. So that way they'll share a binder. Um, just cause my La Seraphim collection isn't massive. I only collect one member. And I just collect album cards, so it's not that big. But yeah, like I said, here's my La Seraphim collection. I just have like the two album cards, the Target and group cards. And then I collected the three album cards, one of the units, not even all of them. And then the Compact and Weavers cards. And I have one Japanese card, so... That's my whole Seraphim collection. I don't really collect her palms or anything. Um, but, so, we only have these fillers for her today. So, um, they haven't come out with version names yet. Like, they literally just announced, like, what's coming out. I feel like Hive hasn't been doing digipacks. Like, TXT didn't do digipacks. They just did the Weavers versions. And, like, Seventeen's not, have not done digipacks. Um, you know... And Hypen's not done digipacks, except for, like, Japanese. So, I'm wondering if they're gonna do digipacks eventually, because every other company's doing them. I know they have their, like, Weavers albums, but, like, I don't know. I feel like at some point they're gonna release digipacks, too. But, anyways. Um, we are gonna do the three albums. Uh, the three album cards. So, with the regular albums, there's three different versions. Again, they don't have the version names out yet. But, you get one photo card, and it's one out of five. So, you're only going to get one member. <laughs> so, for the regular albums, I only plan on buying one set. So, that is Le Seraphim's plans for the regular album. And I plan on buying this set from Target so I can get the Target card. I don't know if they're going to do selfies or if they're just going to do a group card like they did last time. But I'm going to add the Target card next to the album cards. So that's where that will be. And then I saw where they released compact versions. And I'm a little confused about the compact versions because there's five versions. But you only get one out of three cards so I'm like are the cards going to be units or are they going to be selfies so I'm a little confused so I did not set up for the compact versions because I'm not sure what they are yet but if they're selfies then I'll set up for them if they're units I'm not going to because I'm not a big unit collector if they do come out with units I'll probably just buy one unit that um Kajua is in so but they're doing Weavers albums again there's going to be three cards per member in the Weavers album, so I'm just going to add that in here. And yeah, that's all I've got right now for Kajua and this new La Seraphim comeback, but I'm very excited for new La Seraphim music. I wonder what it's going to sound like. I'm very excited, so yeah, that is my little progress for La Seraphim. I'm glad I, like, finished this collection before this comeback because I was waiting on, oh my god, which card was it? This one. 
a really long time and I was like, please get here before they announce something. And it got here just in time, so yay. At least I'm caught up with them and I'm not behind. So that is all for this binder. Okay, so I'm going to do a flip through really quick of this binder just so you guys can see what it looks like now. I've changed it up a little bit. So the Seraphim is out of here. It's only Ive, Kepler, and um, Itzy. I think I'm going to do a full like collection video, um, either my next video or the one after that, because I've switched a lot of my binders up and I didn't do a like full collection video back in December of my full collection and it's like it's April now so it's almost like half year time so I think I may do that soon but anyways um so we're gonna do a full flip through so this is my I've collection I did start double siding the cards um just to save room in here because it's an A5 binder it's not very big but we have um Ives first album their second album third album and then this is where I'm going to set up for um their new albums so I have all the cards here so I'm only going to be collecting um Liz and Gao for the album cards and then each of their digipack cards and then that's all <laughs> um I don't really collect pops for them either just if they come with whatever I get, so. Also, I'm not gonna buy the Ive albums. I'm just going to buy them from Makari Japan or Rakuma because, I don't know, I, Ive's albums are really strange. <laughs> like, the packaging of them are really weird and, like, the last album packaging, I didn't really like it and, to be honest, I'm running out of room for albums. I would rather have other groups' albums, I think, than Ive's. But I still am going to get their photo cards. It's just not going to be from, like, albums. Like, I'm not going to do an unboxing for it, so. But I'm sure there will be more unboxings of it on the internet. So, I'll get to watch other people open them. But yeah, there's three versions. I don't know what the versions are named yet. But. And then we have the Digipacks. So yeah, we have, like, a little spread. So, like, each era will have their like little spread and I'm glad they're only doing one photo card per member for each version because I was scared of that <laughs> I was scared that they're gonna like start doing one of like 12 you know but thank god they kept the one of six <laughs> so yeah that's Ive and then we go into Kepler so I'll just put some pops here just to like start out everything but here are my, this is Kepler's first album, and then Double Blast, and then Troubleshooter, and then this will be Love Struck. So they are going to be doing three um, cards of each member for each version, but you only get two for each version, so that's kind of rude. But um, yeah, so I set up for the versions are Eye Contact, Love Strike and first blush and then their digi pack is also going to have three cards per member i think at least i could be doing that wrong but i think that's what it is um so this is the first version i contact i think the concepts that they chose were really cute i don't think that they go together like i know there's like a baseball concept and there's like the cute like um, like sleepover type concept. I don't know. I feel like the concepts are cute separately, but together they just kind of clash. Also, the fact that Kepler's going to disband next year is crazy to me. And, um, man, I don't know. I feel like Mnet just kind of failed them a little bit. Like, I really love Kepler's members. I feel like more than their actual music. I hate to say that, but... Um, I feel like their talent got wasted a little because Mnet kind of set them up for failure a little. Um, I mean, obviously they still have bops and everything, but I don't know. I feel like they could have done so much. And the fact that they went on another survival show was a, I feel like that was such a waste of time. Like, why would they do that <laughs> whenever they're trying to like 
they ha they only have like two years, you know? Like, why waste it being on another survival show? I don't get it, but. So what I did was I did one, like, version and then plus a digipack. Because I feel like the digipacks are going to match, like, the versions. Like, how um, this digipack match this version. So, yeah, I think that's how it will go. So, that's the Kepler thing. And before I move on to, like, show Itsy in this binder, who <laughs> is watching Boys Planet right now? I wasn't going to watch it, and I was going to be like, you know what? Girls Planet was kind of toxic. I don't want to watch it again, but I kind of got sucked in because I loved some of the people on there. <laughs> Vote for Matthew! <laughs> I love Matthew. Matthew and uh, Sung Han Bin and um, is it Soon? I think that's how you pronounce his name. I love, they're like my top three. And I really like Woongi and I really love Jungwoo and oh my god. I just love a lot of them and I want, there's more than nine that I want to debut. It's so sad. And Haruto and just, oh my gosh, there's just so many and I wish all of them could debut together, but yeah, so, but vote for Matthew. <laughs> He's my number one. Vote for Matthew. But anyways, um, tell me who your top nine are in the comments. I may put my top nine down in the description because <laughs> I just want to talk about it. But anyways, so that ends Kepler and then this starts Itzy. I just put like the freebies and like the two concept, um, crazy in love limited cards or whatever here to start out the thing and then I have like my crazy in love um little spread and then this is checkmate and then starting Cheshire and then this is the end of Cheshire so that is now my girl group binder this may change if I don't like it but for now, this is what I've got. I may end up buying another A5 binder. I think these now come in white. So I may get me a white one. Um, but yeah, that is all for Ive and Kepler. Now we have <laughs> the monstrosity of what this new album is going to be. FML. First of all, relatable. Second of all, <laughs> I'm so excited. Um been a hot minute since we've had a 17 comeback so i'm really excited about it i'm hoping they announce tour afterwards not for my wallet but for me <laughs> personally i would love to see 17 again so yeah let's just get into this okay so the only thing that has changed and i'll update you guys is that like my extra cards that i kept in here like my social club stuff and like in the soup and everything that i put in here that were like my bias line is now in my old I've binder. Um, it already said Heaven's Cloud on it, and I was like, you know what? This is already base for 17, so I'll just show you really quick. So this is how it's set up. I have a space here for the next in the soup cards, but yeah, it's also double-sided to save some space. But yeah, this is where like all my like bias line sets went into. And I feel like this is good because um, I'm not ready to separate <laughs> these cards yet and do a different binder. So, yeah, because it's pretty full. Like, there's not much room left. And I want to keep putting cards in here as much as I can. So, okay, so we're finally getting to, <laughs> to back here. Okay, so here we go. FML. So excited for this. First of all, there's going to be two titles. Okay. And there's going to be unit, um, more unit songs. I'm very excited for Fire for hip hop. Ooh, that sounds so good. It's going to be so great. And then, um, I don't understand, but I love you. Oh my God. I can't. That just makes me emotional. But anyways, here is our big stack. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is insane. So we've got the versions, the version names are not out yet, but I'm sure it's going to be version F, version M, version L, like FML. I feel like those are going to be the versions, but I could be wrong. So we have a version here and then 
B version, C version for my bias line, and then the Weavers albums. And then we have the Kinos. I did join a group order to get three Kinos and hopefully um, they will sort my bias line. And then the Target cards. And then I'm sure they're gonna come out with a carrot or compact version. Last time we got a compact version instead of carrot. So I'm wondering if they're gonna do carrot for this comeback. Because it'll be a new mini album or if they're going to do a compact. But the compact album was for a repackage. So I don't know. I don't know if we'll get a compact or if we're going to get a carrot version. I would like to have a carrot version because you get more cards. <laughs> but I guess we'll see. So I guess we'll start a version on this page. And then have the first part of the B version here. The only good thing about the compact versions was that, like, the different, like, the different concepts, you got two cards, so you could put the comp compact in the middle, and then, like, the two other, like, album cards, and it would, like, all flow together for Sector 17, so I don't know how it's gonna look for this album. I'll probably have to do some rearranging once the album actually comes out, and we see the cards and everything. So, oh my god, it's exciting. We're gonna get new photo cards. Ah. So, yeah, that's the new thing FML. I feel like 17 is such a relatable group, that's why I love them so much. 17 and TXT, they're just so relatable. I was scared that if they ever did like an album with um like unit cards again they were they were gonna pull like another ataka and do unit photo books like they did with your choice and ataka oh my god <laughs> i was like please never do that again i mean i think the concept's cute but i feel like it's a money grab to just buy more albums so you can collect all the photo books and i'm not about that <laughs> like I don't want to be spending that much money, you know, just to get everybody. And plus DK is in, DK and Joshua are in vocal unit and then Vernon's in hip hop unit. And then knowing my luck, I would get a performance unit <laughs> photo book. Like, and I'm not trading photo books either. That's not, I don't know. I didn't love that about Ataka, but hopefully they never do that again. I don't think they're doing that this time either. So that's good. Okay, so we're ending B version, starting C version on this page. Whew, so many cards again. <laughs> and then pop wise, I'm only going to collect DK. And I'm only going to collect like selfies that I think are cute. I'm not going to collect every single pop. So I don't, that's the thing about like new albums is... We don't know what the photo cards are going to look like until they're, like, shown. And so, I don't join group orders because I don't want to join a group order for a concept card. And I don't know what stores do concept cards, what stores do selfies. Like, I'm not a big, I guess, pop person. Like, I don't know what stores usually do what. So, I don't usually join group orders. So, yeah, I don't know what to do. And sometimes when I join group orders, I find the cards, like, way cheaper, like, afterwards. Like, I joined a bunch of group orders for the boys, and I paid, like, double the amount I could have got it from Bayi. So, my plan is when the cards release to the public is to go straight to Bayi or um, Nyokyo and buy them as soon as possible. And then, yeah. So hopefully, that's what happens. So this is my Weavers album page. 
Usually this is the last page though of my um, like sets, but we may rearrange this once like I actually start getting cards and stuff. And if there's like a carrot version, we're just gonna have to figure it out, so. Yeah, I don't know if anyone else struggles about like the pobs and stuff. Like, am I alone on that? I feel like everyone's got it together, and I just, I don't know at all, like, what to do. And it stresses me out for 17, because I only collect DK's pops, and DK is, like, a very popular member, and his stuff, like, all of his, like, um, spots and goes and stuff are already claimed. And I'm like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? So, I don't know. It just stresses me out a little bit, but I'm going to try to chill and have fun this comeback and not stress about it. Okay, and then I have the Kino cards and then the Target cards. I'm going to put the Target cards here because that's what I did for Sector 17 and Face the Sun. I just put them in my album binder. Because I don't really consider Target cards pobs. I just, I don't know. Even though they kind of are. <laughs> but. Yeah. I just stick them in with my album stuff. Yeah. So the only thing I joined Ghost for. Were the Kinos. Um, I plan on buying two sets from Target. I've already. Bought. Um, two sets for myself. Of the signed albums. So like. I'll have six signed albums and then I'll have two sets from Target. So I should have enough to collect bias line and then keep probably a set of pulls. Um, so that'll be nice. And then I bought six Weavers albums, three for me, three for my sister to collect my bias line and her bias line. And then, yeah, I think that's it. And then if they come out with the carrot or compact version but i'm not gonna buy the target sets until it like actually comes out in store because i know if you buy from target online pre-order they're just gonna give you the same version like multiple times because that always happens so i'm not gonna do that <laughs> but anyways i think that's all that i had to put away today um so that's four comebacks in the next two months <laughs> it's crazy but yeah um i think Who's first? Is it Ive or Kepler? Kepler's is the 10th. I don't remember what date Ive's is. But I did buy Kepler's signed albums too. That's the only set I bought. Because I only buy one set for Kepler. And then I'll just buy whatever remaining cards I need after I trade mine. We're going to have signed Kepler albums, signed 17 albums, all the 17 things. And yeah, we're going to have a the Seraphim unboxing hopefully soon. So that will be exciting. Also, before I go, I'm going to mention on my Instagram, Frosty Sue Ben, I have a giveaway up for um, my 1K subscriber giveaway. Once I hit 1K subscribers, I will be closing that giveaway and I will be picking random people. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram, uh, both my Instagrams, Frosty Sue Ben, and my trades account. And then if you've ever joined a go or if you are subscribed already or... Um, if you do subscribe, you'll get extra entries. But yeah, that's it. Um, if you want to join, my Instagram is in the description. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. And I hope you guys are excited for these comebacks. Let me know who your top 9 in Boys Planet is if you watch. And yeah, um, hope you guys like the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!